Alrighty, g'day everybody. It's been a while since I've done a pallet project, so let me show you some pallets. Right, I've been very lucky to get a heap of these pallets from a mate, David Kelly. He just keeps dropping them off. He's an absolute champion. From those pallets outside, you would have seen the vertical pieces, which are the stretchers. I end up with a lot of those. They're pretty gnarly. They've got lots of nails in them. Same with some of these other stretchers from really heavy rando pallets. I want to use all this beautiful timber just to show you how it can clean up and what you can do with it. For me, I'm gonna make something for the shop. Um, but if I'm gonna make something for the shop with pallets, I'm gonna make it cool. Now, don't be like me. Get yourself a metal detector early on if you're gonna start working with reclaimed timber, especially pallets. It is full of nails. Also, I'd like to welcome all the people that have come across from Jesper Makes's channel. Uh, he had a beautiful coffee table video cooked off. Happened to mention my name in that video. So here you are. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. Hope you stick around. Uh, if you haven't heard of Jesper, why don't we return the favor via me through him. Go and sub up to his channel. Um, his videography is amazing. That's all I'm going to say. Just go and have a look. I now have two straight square sides. I can now rip all this timber down to whatever width I choose. Uh, I'm then going to resaw. Always get those two mixed up. Resaw all this thick stuff into a nice usable piece of timber, and then we can start to build this piece. Massive tip, don't throw away all these slithers of pallet wood. It is hard enough to get this really nice timber. You can use these for so many cool projects. I've actually got a massive bundle of these and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with those in the next few videos. So stay tuned for that. All right, check out all this beautiful timber. Mostly very hard Aussie hard wood. I wanna go for a pretty robust Press. What I want to show you is how you can make some really chunky, solid pallet wood or any wood furniture using this very simple glue up technique. Basically what we're going to create just with lamination is these joints. So a bridal, bridal joint or a double bridal joint. We then glue up the opposite for the opposing side. Once we glue them together, we get this very decorative and super strong corner joint. All that downward clamping pressure is going through these boards. Multiply that by five boards. With these super strong corners, I think the press should be more than enough. Check square, I got some trust issues. Check that out. You get the point? So, a little bit of overkill on the size of this thing. You might only want to do three or four layers and you might have thinner boards as well. Let me go back and figure out how many I need to chop short. That includes for the legs. I will acknowledge that I am making this up as I go. Here are my two legs. Here is my cross beam. On the legs, I need to cut two pieces off so I get the double bridle up the top. And then on the top piece, I'll need to cut the opposite short so that they slot in to the fingers. Let me think about that so I don't make a meal of it. Made in use of Stabby Nick Stab Base, made by Darren at 2x Forge. So, this is what you should be left up with. Two of these, and for the top, you want two of these. And there we go, there's the joint, nice and strong. A little bit decorative as well. So these are all cut off the table saw um, to the same width. So in theory, it should all go together. It will need some persuasion, but we'll get there. A 
I've got these to a point where I could just glue them together, attach a vise, away we go, got a press. Uh, I want to clean them up with the thickness, uh, just to show all this beautiful timber, but also to show that this timber will make nice furniture if you clean it up like I'm about to do now. You don't have to have a thicknesser. Uh. Quick smash with the belt sander or a plane and you'll get the same result. So If only I had a nice, solid woodworking bench, dog holes, ways to hold the timber, that would be cool. I've just got to get a camera mount up there that works with the bench. That's the only reason that I'm sitting here. <laughs> Just got to do some more cleaning up, make these legs the same size, and then make my little checkouts down the bottom here. I want it in two pieces so I can pull it apart. It can either store flat or I can hang it on a wall somewhere, um, which works better for me in this little space. Safe so style eyewear. Don't forget, you get 10% off with me, Dana 10. unnecessary part of this project I need to laser burn the Shin Bionator 3000 press wood the way you should onto the press so why am I doing this well Phil sent me his YouTube on how to make a press and I thought it was such a cool idea uh, he should get naming rights so that's pretty much it I'm going to glue this bastard up and then chamfer the shit out of it. Time to oil up the Shin Bionator 3000. Stick around, I'll put it all together and show you how this thing actually works. Wood press, here we go. It's pretty chunky, it's pretty solid, it's pretty cool. This press is not actually for skateboards. Uh, I wouldn't want to be putting the pressure you need to actually rebend these with this particular press. This press is all about getting a nice glue up of nice, clean, flat boards, bowls, segments, rings, whatever. Let's move that out of the way. So if you happen to go back and see how I made this bowl, I individually clamped all of these rings down with about eight clamps to get a nice even pressure. Now, just got to build up some layers and then I get a nice even clamping pressure without too much effort to get a nice glue up. All you need is a little bit of squeeze out. You don't need to clamp the absolute life out of it, which I'm pretty good at. 
Now, just finally, I have made a wooden press, but as you can see, again, all this beautiful hardwood, pallet wood, um, can be used to make some pretty nice rustic furniture. So I haven't done the full How's Your Father cleanup because um, I don't want to spend hours on this. I just wanted to demonstrate how some of this nice timber can scrub up. I've used hardwood because I don't want it to break if I do get a little bit overzealous. Okay, me again. These are my pallet wood bricks. Now I've got a video on how to make pallet wood bricks for making furniture with. Again, this press is pretty cool if you have no other clamps and you just want to get in the game. If you can, if you can clean the timber up okay, you got one press, you can make cool furniture with these little bricks. I've done heaps of it and it really is a cool way to work with pallets because I believe, and this is just my opinion, pallets laminated together in this fashion really do show all the colours and you don't have any nail holes. You can really step away from the rustic side of the house and actually have some pretty cool furniture. So there you go. Pallet bricks up there. Thanks very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. More pallet projects are coming. Um, I have been on a little bit of a lathe journey. However, the lathe is just going to be part of this whole shop. It's not my future. I'm not going to be a wood turner and a dedicated wood turning channel. Everything here is just about making cool things, uh, not one particular style. So if that's what you're here for, I hope you hang around and I do appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Okay. See ya.